Hello everyone and welcome to a Farming Sim 17 tutorial. Today we're talking about wood chips. We will specifically be talking about wood chips using forestry and wood chippers, not poplar trees. If you're looking for poplar trees and forage harvesters, uh, please refer to my poplar tree tutorial. I will put it link in the description. So if we go to forestry equipment, there are three wood chippers. There is this little one, this really big one, and this like medium-sized one which is more expensive. In this tutorial I will only show this one because this is the only one I think is worth using. I tried using this one it only would eat really small logs that I hand fed it and even then it wouldn't give me wood chips even though I had it piped out over a tipper correctly uh, it would just eat it and disappear. So for now stay away from it. I don't know if it's a bug or if I'm just I don't know. I don't like it so uh, not worth it for me. And then this one, if you remember from Farming Sim 15, is a, it's complete garbage. It's really difficult to use, really difficult to maneuver, really difficult to feed logs into the wood chipper. I tried it again in Farming Sim 17 to see if it's any better. It's not. I really recommend not messing with it. Uh, so this one is really great, really easy to use. Uh, so this is the one I'll be showing. It is fairly large, so you'll need some power behind your tractor to pull it, um, but but really not much. It does drive itself as well, kind of like a conveyor belt, which I'll be showing. We'll also look at two of the placeables. This Heizomat heating plant, which accepts wood chips, and this uh, HE700 STA, I guess, uh, which actually accepts trees and logs and then converts it automatically to wood chips and sells it automatically. So I'll show both of those. For now, let's look at this. This is basically like a conveyor belt and that you will enter it like a vehicle and from there you can move the uh, conveyor belt here if you want you can drive it a little bit uh, it only goes one mile per hour and you can turn it on like that now it's really important before you start using this is that you go into your options and turn automatic engine start off if this is on when you turn this on and get out it's going to stop if engine start is off, automatic engine starts off, you'll get in, you'll have to start the engine, so press enter, and then turn it on. And now since it won't automatically turn off when you get out, it's going to keep running like that. That's what you want. You also will want to put a tipper underneath the conveyor belt so that the wood chips unload. Don't forget to start your tractor now if you've been playing with that option on this whole time. So I'm going to put it under like that. That should work. We can always adjust it um, mid wood chipping if we need to. So let me just check it. We can always put it like that. That should be fine. And now all we got to do is cut down a tree and throw it in there. With these kind of smaller pine trees, I've had pretty good luck putting in them in that wood chipper hole without cutting them up. Um, the larger pine trees like you see right in the center of the screen, that really big one, those you'll probably want to cut up before you try, uh, just because they're way more difficult to maneuver. I do recommend cutting the branches off because you will want to see, and that helps you see a little better. And then all you gotta do is pick it up with a log fork, um, whatever loader you want to use, just get a log fork, and you'll pick it up and we'll feed it. I like to feed it the large side first, like the thicker side first seems to work a little better for me. So we're going to move this down. This might be a little too far over, but we're here, so let's try it. Make sure you pinch it. And if I turn the right way, we're going to try to line up with the wood chipper like that. See how it's kind of on, over the conveyor belt? We'll lower it, see if it starts um, feeding into it. If not, we can kind of move over and there it starts chipping. Now we want to low, uh, slightly open this and it'll start eating it like that. And hopefully it'll get the whole thing. You can see the conveyor belt will take them right into the tipper. And that should do it. I'll show you one other little trick while that finishes. Let's chop down one more tree. Uh, just remember it does go the way you cut, so since I'm cutting to the left, it will fall to the left. In this game, since you can pick up objects, 
you can actually cut small logs and feed it by hand. So say I want to cut, oh, it's kind of freaking out on me. So say I want to cut this off and just feed it this one little log. It makes it a lot easier than trying to do it with the tractor. Um, just a little longer, but a little more time, I mean. So we'll just take this over. You have to kind of get it like that. And then we can throw it in, and there you go. So if you want to do it that way, that works too. Either way, you're going to get wood chips. Now, let's look at one... Well, let's look at where to sell wood chips. So, there's two places. One is the Stanton Sawmill, and one is that placeable I showed you earlier, uh, this heating plant. I already have a vehicle at the sawmill. So if you see, we are now in the... It's sort of the west corner. Uh, it's kind of blinking right now. If you get to the sawmill, you'll see this big pile of wood chips. The pricing is in your prices menu right here. Wood chips, 314, Stanton Sawmill, and just like any other... Oh yeah, you got to start your engine now. So just like anything else, you drive to it and you unload it, and that's it. So that's where you can sell them if you don't have the placeable. If you have the placeable, all you have to do is drive the tipper to your placeable and unload it just like we did that. So I have mine over here, sort of in the center. And then we'll look at that placeable right there where you feed logs directly. So you go to the heating plant here, you go right in front of it. Again, you can place this wherever you want on your farm. Hit I, it'll dump it in and automatically sell it. And in the top right, I just got $1,300 for that many wood chips. You can also, if you want, just dump them now that you can force unload. Uh, so I have a whole bunch of wood chips here for my poplar tutorial. And then you can use uh, shovels or conveyor belts or whatever to get them whenever you want them. So yeah, there are wood chips. Uh, there's the wood chipper and what to do with them. Now let's look at this machine. This is always running. Again, this is under placeables. Right here, you put in logs and then it automatically sells them. So let's go back to this tree. Um, just so I don't have to spend a lot of time kind of messing with it, I'll just do the hand method. I was able to feed it an entire tree earlier, so it does work. But for the sake of the video, I'll just do something that I can carry by hand. So let me run. And just like the wood chipper we used, you just throw this in and it'll take it. And in the top right, you can see money going up. And from that little piece of wood, I got Um, I don't know. It showed there we go, three hundred seventy-four dollars. I was gonna say it showed me earlier, just a uh, little delay there. So, yeah, that's the wood chipper um, and this thing. I hope that helps when it comes to wood chips. If you have a question, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments below. Leave a like and/or dislike. Subscribe if you feel like it, and of course, have yourselves a very nice day.